Hey guys, today we're going to be making a flamethrower out of just a barbecue lighter. Pretty bloody simple. Without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so these are the things that you're going to need to make your flamethrower. You'll want a butane can, like this one here, that's full of butane gas. You also want a gauntlet of some kind or a glove, something that you can mount the flamethrower to. You don't have to mount it to anything, but this makes it a little bit cooler. And this protects your hand from the heat. You don't need it, but you can if you want. You also want a aluminium or steel piping. I'll tell you why this is necessary later. You also might want a lighter. And the main thing you need is one of these barbecue lighters, preferably one of the bendy ones, they work well. You also want a glue gun. So let's get started. So take the lighter out of the packaging. Now you want one that's adjustable. I'll show you why later. Let's test it out. This is a really nice one. You don't have to hold down two triggers at once, which some of them you do have to do that. But this one, you just pull one trigger, and it goes, and turn it up. Quite a big flame or a real small flame. Now, what we are going to do, we're going to grab our screwdrivers and open it up. Okay, the screws in here are Phillips, so we're going to use a Phillips screwdriver. I think everyone knows how to take screws out, so I don't have to explain it. Okay, don't need those anymore. Now, you might find you might not be able to open it up all the way, that's because of this thing here. Just take that out. Might need another screwdriver to help you just to pry it open. Okay, this one was being difficult, so I just snapped it off. It's still not coming out. I'm not sure why. There we go, that solves the problem. This here is a gas tank. We'll modify that soon. First, you want to, you don't really need the trigger anymore. Yeah, this is the hose line for the fuel. Make sure that doesn't come out because you probably won't be able to put it back in. We might have to keep this plastic bit on. So I think it might be glued on. So this thing here is the thing that creates the spark which ignites the butane gas. All right, so we're gonna put this to the side. Now we're gonna modify our gas tank. Now as you can see, it has a white filter in there. I believe it's a filter. And we can actually take this out. What that will do is it will allow the gas to flow through the end super fast without any restrictions. Because at the moment, it just comes out real slowly and only in gas form. We want it to come out as a liquid. That's where you get your biggest flame. And this little wheel here, if you open this up a lot, whole lot more gas comes out and you could just do that and it'll be quite a large flame but we want it to be a massive flame so we're gonna go outside and undo it because gas will go everywhere all right so what you want to do is you want to undo this wheel here for you it could be a little stick that comes out but we're gonna do we're gonna undo it and you'll start to see the pressure releasing and make sure you keep it away from your eyes now this comes out we just want to turn it over slowly it is quite, if you spill it on your skin, it's quite cold. So there we go. There goes the filter. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna reassemble it. You just wanna put this wheel thing back on, turn it all the way on so it's nice and tight. And now you can take this little thing off. Don't lose it, because we need it. This just allows you to take the wheel off. We don't need that anymore. Save it in case you want to tighten or loosen this for whatever reason. Now put this back on. And this is what releases the gas. Now to refill the tank, what you want to do is you want to grab your butane cartridge like I was talking about before. This is what we're going to use to refill it. You want to hold down this little lever here, okay? You want to keep holding it down, turn upside down, and you want to push down nice and hard. And that will fill up the cartridge. I'll do a close up now. So hold down the lever. And if it's filled with a little bit of gas, wait till you put this on top so the gas doesn't flow out. There we go. We have filled it up with some butane gas. So when you hold it down, it sprays out. Now this stuff is very cold, like I said before, so be careful. Now what we want to do is we want to attach back on, like so, to our main lighter and the gas. Blow out the end. 
All right, so now you want to grab your hot glue gun. So what we're going to do, you want to place this aluminium and steel pipe, which I've glued together already, and you want to place this over the actual lighter itself. Now this is for a good reason. One, it's going to look better, but the main reason is because when this is going in liquid form, so when the gas is coming out as a liquid, it spills out of these gaps and then kind of creates this like fireball and it somehow travels all the way back to here and then that could cause so many problems so the solution is to put this steel pipe slash aluminium pipe over the gas goes straight out can't go back so you're going to put some hot glue around make sure you use a lot of it because we want a good seal and just turn it on like that and grab something to smooth it out Place some more glue down the end, making sure not to cover up the actual thing. There we go, that's done. Now, if safety is a big thing for you, you might want to buy some more lighters and take out the cords from them, and you can use this to make this cord longer, so gas tanks further away from the actual flame. If you want to go even further, you can create a aluminium casing for the plastic fuel tank to actually go in. So if anything happened, like if it exploded or something, plastic's not gonna go into your hand or whatever, it's just gonna be contained in this aluminium casing and if you buy more lighters you can actually have more uh, fuel tanks so you run out of one you don't have to get this big thing fill it up you can just take it out of there unplug it place it back in here this one put the hose on and you're ready to go again so we're almost done you can finish here just have a handheld flamethrower but it's a bit dangerous so we're going to attach it to this gauntlet now I have made this already gone through a few designs found the one I like and we're going to attach it here just like this we are going to attach attach the flamethrower to our gauntlet. I've got this aluminium strip that I've ripped it on. We're just going to use some hot glue to put it in place because we don't want it to be permanent. We want to be able to take it out. If something goes wrong, we can fix it. Add some hot glue up here, down here, on the side, and on the actual flamethrower itself. All right, bend it over, and then grab a clamp and clamp it on so the hot glue stays there. Set a thousand subscribers, we'll get there soon. Give me some ideas for the 1000 sub special. Thinking about maybe an airsoft sniper, but I'm not sure yet. I've been trying to make it, but it's been a pain in the ass. Pretty bloody cool. Very dangerous though, so definitely be careful. Anything that happens to you, if you get burned, it's not my fault. I'm not trying to sound mean, but I don't want to get sued or anything. It's the last fall I've ever got. Oh. No, I want you to be able to as well. Oh, well, how am I going to do both? It's on. What are you doing? Well, game. Right, I'm on my eyes. One for you.
you, one for you. That one was mine. Okay, that's that one. No, don't bite it off that, you'll see.